Are you a project manager looking to transition into a data science role? Hi everyone, welcome to episode 27th of Data Science and AI Weekly. My name is Manav and this is a very exciting episode because in this episode, I'm going to discuss how can you as a project manager transition into data science role successfully and can you transition in the first place? Let's get started. So we get a lot of lot of uh, project managers for our programs and one of the reasons why most project managers are upskilling right now in data science and AI is number one, they feel uh, that their career has somehow stagnated, A, they feel that they want to be more relevant and their current competency or skill set is not relevant to the requirement that IT industry has right now and C is they want faster career progression and they want they know that if they don't take that steps now to improve their skill set they will not break into the top management tiers that that's what your goal is and if you can relate to any of these three reasons let me know in the comment section as well so those are perfectly valid reason and as IT professionals what I always say is that no matter whether you are a project manager or you are a director or vice president you need to be on top of what new the uh, what the new technology trends are and the same is true for you as, as you look to transition into data science role so here's my advice for you as you plan to do that number one thing that what i would want from you is that as you look to transition you need to identify that what area of focus would you have in data science are you looking to become a generic data scientist or are you looking to become a data scientist focus in a particular field and that's why you will need to see what is your current uh, current industry that you are currently managing project of. For example, you might be working in IBM and you might be working as a project manager for a, a BFSI project, right? Let's say Citibank. So you would want to maybe focus on data science and take BFSI projects and work during the program on as many BFSI projects as possible and make them that's why that connection from BFSI uh, to data science in BFSI. Doing that is going to be very easy for you and that's what in fact the top manage management expects from you that you will be leading new and innovative projects. That's the first thing. The second uh, thing that you will need to watch out for is that what level of hands-on data science you want to do which means some of you might be hands-on hands on with programming as project managers and you'd be comfortable some of you would have left programming for some time and some of you would have never done programming so there are three of these categories and you will need to identify from a data science perspective what do you want to do for example if you are a hands-on Pro, pro project manager so you need you can deep dive more into python and you should look to build good hands-on skills as well but if you know that your python uh, or programming is not something that you are that strong in you should still learn python be comfortable with it but no need to go into the depth of programming rather what you should be focusing on is the business outcome a and what you should be doing is that you should be looking at the application of data science in different industries. So you should be asking the bigger picture, right? And that's what you should look at, uh, uh, whether you have that uh, uh, interest and uh, background in programming. And depending on that, you should focus on one of these two areas. The last and the very important question that you should be answering as you look to transition is that am I ready to go out of my comfort zone to get data science roles. Now what you'd be surprised by is that your company most likely even if you no matter whether you work in TCS, CTS, Microsoft, uh, uh, JP Morgan is taking a data science initiative. Your goal should be to reach out to CEO supervisors or reach out to your VPs or presidents and try to find out where are these projects and at least talk to project managers who are or product managers who are leading those pro projects. You will need to build that rapport 
because with 15 or 20 years of experience, do not expect an entry level job. And that's what you should actually not be aiming for. You want something a little senior. And if you have that network with you, it will help make it will make your job transition much, much, much smoother. And trust me, I have seen it happening tens of times with our students who are just like you project managers with 12, 15, 20 years of experience, right? So it's definitely very much possible. You need to have the right framework. You need to have the right strategy. You need to have the right mentors. If you have a combination of this, right? Plus combined with your effort and sincerity towards uh, progressing forward in your career, transitioning into data science and machine learning roles is absolutely achievable, right? So this was episode 27th of Data Science and AI Weekly. I hope you love this episode. Let me know uh, if you're a project manager and if this video has helped you. And if you have any questions beyond that, let me know that as well in the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you in episode 28.